Mary Leonora Carrington OBE was a British-born surrealist painter and novelist. She was born in 1917 and lived most of her adult life in Mexico City. Mary Carrington was known for her unique surrealist style, which often combined elements of fantasy, mythology, and the natural world. Her artworks were characterized by vivid colors, intricate details, and dreamlike imagery. She was influenced by the works of artists such as Salvador Dali and Max Ernst. Carrington's artistic career spanned several decades, and her contributions to the Surrealist movement were highly regarded. In addition to her work as a painter, Mary Carrington was also a talented novelist. She wrote several books, including The Hearing Trumpet and The Stone Door, which showcased her imaginative storytelling and continued the themes of her visual artworks. Carrington's literary works further cemented her reputation as a multi-talented artist. Mary Leonora Carrington was born into a wealthy textile manufacturing family in Clayton Green, England. Growing up at Crookhay Hall, her imagination was greatly shaped by the large home. Despite being expelled from schools for her rebellious behavior, she found solace in art and attended Mrs. Penrose's Academy of Art in Florence. It was in Paris, at the age of 10, that she first encountered surrealist paintings and met influential surrealists like Paul Éluard. While her father opposed her artistic career, her mother was supportive. Carrington attended the Chelsea School of Art in London and later transferred to the Ozenfant Academy of Fine Arts with the help of her father's friend, Serge Chermaith. Although she received little encouragement from her family, the surrealist poet and patron Edward James became her champion in Britain, purchasing many of her paintings and organizing an exhibition of her work in New York in 1947. Carrington's artwork is characterized by its dreamlike and fantastical quality. She often depicted mythical and symbolic subjects, combining elements of nature, animals, and human figures. Her painting, Pastoral, Angel Hunters, from 1950 exemplifies this style, featuring ethereal figures and mystical creatures in a pastoral landscape. Another notable work is, Arca de No, from 1967, which showcases her unique interpretation of the biblical story of Noah's Arkansas Carrington's self-portrait from 1937 reveals her introspective exploration of identity and the subconscious. She also ventured into other art forms, such as costume design, as seen in her work for the play Penelope Fantastic Figure with Leaves, in 1959. Carrington's artistic career flourished with the support of Edward James and the Surrealist movement. However, her personal life was marked by turmoil and tragedy. She suffered from mental health issues and had a tumultuous romantic relationship with the surrealist painter Max Ernst. The outbreak of World War II forced her to flee to the United States, where she struggled to adapt to a new environment. Despite these challenges, Carrington continued to create art, exploring themes of transformation, mythology, and personal symbolism. Her unique vision and contribution to surrealism have left a lasting impact on the art world. Carrington passed away in 2011, leaving behind a legacy of imaginative and thought-provoking artwork. In conclusion, Mary Leonora Carrington was a British-born surrealist painter and novelist who left a profound impact on the art world. Her unique surrealist style, influenced by artists like Salvador Dali and Max Ernst, combined fantasy, mythology, and the natural world in vivid and intricate artworks. Carrington's imaginative storytelling also extended to her novels, showcasing her multi-talented artistic abilities. Despite facing personal challenges and turmoil, she continued to create thought-provoking art that explored themes of transformation, mythology, and personal symbolism. Carrington's legacy as a surrealist artist and novelist will continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world.